Hey folks, we're on another one. Not really worried about this rust, but uh, the inner structure is going away. So what I would like to do is put a new lower support rail in. You can tell they spot weld it. They're pretty primitive, these Westphalia guys in the 50s. Now I haven't been out in the rain since I've done the interior. So this is a big one, folks. Especially with all the monsoons. Insulation in there and cover that up with some paneling and get that all tidied up. Painted, insulation, panel. How's that sound? Let's get on this. Hey folks, day two. All right, we got this all fitted. It needs some trimming on both ends and a few spots in between. Got a little pinch right here. That looks good, that, and that pinch right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this all up, get it to fit really good while it's out. I'm gonna clean the inside and outside where we're going to spot weld this. Up on the, the upper part, we're gonna drill holes and butt weld it right to the door. Gonna have to hammer and dolly a little bit of this. I do have some of this stuff going from the spot welds we broke yesterday. But other than that, it's pretty good. I think just a couple clamps will bring this to where it needs to be. As soon as I do this, you could see the door bending back to its original position. We have these two holes to patch. This side, we don't need to worry about. Let's get on it. Tough right there. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna drill all these out. Almost the end. Clean up the back sides with the grinder. See what we got. See, as long as there's bare metal showing, see like that one's no good, that one's good. That one's half good, that one's no good, no good, half good, no good. We've got to clean up all those. But they're all on the mark, so we're okay. pieces that we took off here. I'm gonna cut these across the top. Whoop. And then I'll we'll slide it in there and do an outline. There we go. Something like that. Look at some tin snips. That side looks good. Bam. Perfect. On to the next one. While that cools, I'll start cleaning the back sides of these. Whatever they put on here, whatever paint, if it's that kind of paint you can weld on, I'm not gonna take the chance. So I'm gonna clean the bottom edge of this. I already did where the spot welds go. That goes in there. I can look where I have to clean and I'll just clean that particular area and then move on. These are cooling. That's ready to go. This one needs to be fixed. Yeah, I like that. Let me clean that up. I'll just get some pliers and hold that. It didn't like heat too much. Got everything marked. I don't know how hot these are, but they feel hot. But weld all these in. 
a little dirty, but I'm scared to grind any more off that. So this is pretty strong. This, uh, and then cap these off, bend this over, spot weld these on here. Do the same with this side, putty knife and get the seal off. It's looking pretty good. Silver white, we got flat brown. There we go. Put some 180 on here. Good enough for that one. Wish I could just take these off and put them in the sandblaster. Being over 100 degrees, that paint's dry already. Mm 
holes up here. And you know this one, this one we can't cheat on, it has to be that height. Not an ivory. That looks pretty dang good right there. Oh, don't paint with your glasses on, folks. Rule number one. All right. Woo. Pretty happy with that one. Man, it's. it's camera just shut off because it was too hot and that roadrunner still back out here yep all right day two over so what we're working on today got a little gap up top but this all has to stick down in here i wasn't going to work on these until i worked on the corners I just couldn't leave it. So I'm just gonna patch these up and whatever happens down the road happens down the road. I only have a few hours this morning. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna trim that up. I can live with that. It's not a true 90. It sort of like tapers down a little bit. The hardest thing about welding rust is welding rust. So there is a few, few rough sections in here. Metal to show. Right Just gotta cut this. That tacked in. Perfect. You wear it out. I could wear a helmet. Maybe. So it took off a little bit on me. That means it's rusty. Now that side didn't because both pieces were new. All right, let's clean that up and get to the other side. Morning, people, folks. Yeah, I put the little thicker cut off disc on here. I use this for grinding the welds down and making it into a piece of art. That was thinner than I thought. Did you hear that? Got a hole already. I turned it down. I thought I was gonna do a bead all the way up it and just as soon as I hit it, it blew a hole in there. Patch job done. Rinse and repeat on the other side. What I do is blow it off, pick up my tools, and see what I have for 
insulation, some Baltic birch. Yeah, we're out in storage right now. I have some loose pieces. And this roll. I have some tar, but I don't want to put the tar down over that artwork from the 60s. Lori plus Walt. So no tar on that. Good morning, folks. I had to skip a day there. That last hot day wiped me out. I wasn't able to work on any of it yesterday. Today, it's supposed to be 100 degrees. So I get an early start. I can work till 2. And then from 2 till 10, I have to go do my other job. I need to cut and make three different panels. All I have is a jigsaw. So it's gonna be hard to get perfect lines. I'll try as hard as I can. So what we'll do is cut those up, get them mounted in here, take them back off, sand them down, clear coat them, put them back on. I'm just going to use that, let me go get it. What a momento. Just gonna use this, it's like real thick bubble wrap with aluminum foil on it. This is widely available up here with all the grow farms going out of business. There's bundles of this everywhere. A friend of mine gave me two rolls of this. So I think we could use this. We can double that down, maybe even triple it. So let's get on this. One more thing, I just found some half inch flat. That'll hide my crooked lines. Perfect, right? Woo, just, just stay within a half inch. Perfect. Plastic table with some two by fours on top. Gives me enough clearance. It's wobbly. Perfect. I wish I had a table saw. I'll push it a little closer. It's a little really wobbly, folks. I'd screw it down, but I need this. What the hell's going on here? Hear that? If I get any more weirdness, I'm just gonna switch to a metal blade. I'm not sure. I'm not big, I'm not big wood guy. But I'll do anything. Oh, this is perfect. Kick the up the RPM. Well, I started out on the line and ended on the line, but everything in between was everywhere. All right, got that straight. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sip of coffee. I'll drill out the hole for the locking pin. I just eyeballed it, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I did pretty good. I'm surprised. On to the center. We'll call this the love panel. Covering up the love. All right. Getting the panels all in. Um, I have a little problem, the hinge that holds the door open. It lays in, in the door pretty good. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm having a problem with this. By cutting that, I could go into the door a little bit to the spring. Let me draw that up, cut that out, and continue. I'll go down a little bit more, just to be on the safe side. How's that? Pretty crazy. looks more relaxed. Not sure if it'll need to go down any further than this. I push that down, it wants to come up. On to the next step. I've been scrubbing on these and blowing out the dust. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Perfect. And does it have to be perfect? Yes, it has to be perfect. 
That's perfect. This is good. Well, that jumped over. That's weird. It's coming along. I have the first coat of clear on the panels. Should drive pretty fast. This it doesn't matter, right? Anywhere. That's not close. Sharp razor blade. Got the male and female symbol over here. So it reminds me of Austin Powers. Got the love. Won't mess with the love. Today's a little cooler, but we have clouds today. The old marijuana farm leftovers. What do you think? <laughs> Hell yeah, this will work. We got this. That is so nice. Some bar here. Next. we we'll go a little closer this time. Don't put the razor blade in your mouth, kid. That's too far. Pretty good, right? Much better on that one. Oh yeah, this stuff. It's about the line a little bit right here. Perfect. And this stuff, I'll, I'll get some spray glue and spray just the foam. Don't spray this. Pretty good. That goes back there. Do a, I'll do a couple rows of this. Feels good to me. Check it out. Woo. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four thick. I have one to bulk up the center a little bit. That's should good. We didn't harm the artifacts. Somebody will like that down the road. All right, let's get out the panel. All right, folks. Got the first one in. I will need the trim a little bit more off the bottom. That one looks pretty good about halfway down. So I have a little light that goes all the way across. So what I'm doing now, getting this stuff fitted. Here's the notch I did on that one. Turned out pretty good. A little long up top. A little fine tuning adjustment will be needed. Yeah. It's getting interesting, folks. 
Oh wow, that's crazy. I mainly just like white. Right. Right here. And it goes dim. This thing turned out really good. Oh yeah. Put some LEDs in here. A little room for the the hinge. I'll need to back it with some sort of press board like the door panel material. Has a motion sensor and a remote for the lights. So at night, walk away, let's say you go to the campfire and come back to the bus. It sees you, it'll, it'll illuminate the area. As you can tell, I still need to do the seals. Here's the remote. A whole bunch of things, it blinks, it flashes. It'll go from all different colors. Let me just turn it off. Pretty cool. I, I made a loom. I'll run it to the fuse box in the solar department. <laughs> this turned out great. I'm so happy with it. Got some headliner to sand and clear coat. I got a rear hatch to do. Cargo doors to do. Curtain and spare tire cover. Two and a half more weeks left of this endless summer. We better get on it.